Okay, okay, we are back with more Mitski. Uh, the next track, Star, produced by Patrick Highland. Uh, the last one we checked out was like, that one was amazing. Um, country vibes and shit. I'm very curious where this one's gonna go, but man, let's check it out. Let's go. There's 14 people viewing this page right now at the same time. That's crazy. No. No. Do not hold on. Do not hold on. Well, again, that's I'm just I'm just saying it from my perspective <laughs> and my life. I don't know what, you know, her situation is, but I feel like holding on to a person that's already gone is just very rarely ever worth it. Um <clears throat> shit. <laughs> Dude, 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 this is, this, this, to live for somebody, I always, I feel like there's no issue to to have somebody that you want to do good for, you know what I mean, you have someone that inspires you, you love them, and you want to be the best you for them, you know what I mean, I don't think there's an issue with that, but there kind of is, it's like a codependent situation where it's like you need that person to be able to, to feel whole, but then it's like, if you ever lose that person, you're going to be lost. You will be lost. So to live for somebody without already wanting to live for yourself, that's, that's like a disaster ready to happen. You know what I mean? Like if that person's gone, then you're going to be all fucked up. And I guess that's part of love, right? You, you risk your heart. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I get it. And it's not it's not easy i'm a codependent ass motherfucker i hate myself <laughs> but that it's hard to not be i don't know i don't know man i don't know man Oh my god. I was building. I was wondering what it's building to. There's still 10 seconds left till it's over. It's just dead air? Yeah. That was a pretty cool song. That was a pretty cool song. Um, definitely an emotional one. 
Um, <clears throat> I still like the other one more, a lot more. This one was really good, though. Don't get me wrong. Um, ninth track. It describes two people who are no longer in love, but continue to care about each other, partly in memory of the love they had. Is it? Is it? Is it a uh, mutual though? Because it seems like it's just Mitski. Where's a sign? I guess you could say we just see it shine. So you could say they also see it. Um, or looking back on it, I guess. A stunning atmospheric slow burn. Well described. Reaching a shimmering apex. Dude, whoever, I love when people describe this shit. They always use like these really good words. You know, really good descriptive words. Shimmering apex. Wow. That is... You should be a writer or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> I can't believe Mitski invented stars. I know, that's insane. I'm crying like an old man in his deathbed. Okay. It actually sounds cosmic. It did. It really did. At that the end point where it was like the shimmering apex, as they described, it did feel very cosmic. Outer space vibes. Uh, can y'all believe Mitski invented love? Okay, dude. You're making me sob again. Eargasm. Okay. <laughs> this was a dope track. I like this one. I do prefer the other one more, but <clears throat> I like this one as well. It was really pretty. Her singing is always really nice. The instrumental, like they said, it was a slow burn. It definitely was. With the shimmering apex, I thought maybe something was going to switch up, but nah, they just brought it up just to bring it back down. More of a chill, sad track, but I think it's really pretty. So, keep or delete, man. I'll keep. What will I rate this one? I'm going to give it... I want to go 8. I'm going to drop an 8.7. I'm feeling an 8.7 for this one. Hell yeah, man. Looking forward to the album. Should be fire.